Sergio Marchionne is the head of Fiat Chrysler. He's been saying for some time that the auto industry would benefit from some consolidation, and he appears to have picked his next dance partner, Ford Motor. CEO Mark Fields was asked about this over the weekend and very politely said no thank you. <laughs> That's you know what? If nothing else, you got to admire the chutzpah of a guy who says, "I've got a ten billion dollar company. You've got a fifty-four billion dollar company. We should merge." Let's sure. talk. <laughs> I yeah I, I yeah I mean admire his chutzpah. I guess whatever. Uh, I, this could always change. And I mean, I mean, we know that things things change very quickly. I cannot imagine any scenario where Mark Fields actually wants this to happen, though. Um, the only reason I could see this actually happening, there are two reasons. Either A, Mark Fields quits his job as the CEO and, and the person who fills his role wants to do this, or or B, Mark Fields truly believes that what Alan Mulally helped execute in turning this business around really didn't work out very well. And and I think the numbers would the numbers would argue that it has worked out pretty well. Um the whole the whole reason why Ford has been able to make it is that they had the wherewithal to shed all of those just tangential brands that didn't really matter to the core operations. They tightened up their operations and they got rid of the yeah you know, they, they they cut the fat. Uh, this to me would just be adding more fat. But I mean, there's no reason in the world why they would need to bring Fiat in there. It, it would ultimately. I just think cause problems down the road. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think it could be a distraction in a time where these big automotive companies could use a little less distraction. Yeah. Um, they have other things to concentrate on, and and Mark Field seems to be concentrating on those important things. Talking about four and a half billion dollars invested in autonomous and electric vehicles. Um, Forty percent of their vehicles could be offered electronically, um, and by the end of this decade. So. He's got some bigger fish to fry, I think, than trying to roll in a few other car brands uh, from a company that hasn't done quite as well as his over the last few years. And I think it's a great point he makes. They're bringing up the electronic vehicles, sort of the electric vehicles, kind of things of the yeah, future. Electric, yeah. um, it, Mark Fields had to kind of wait for this job, right? I mean, there was a point where he thought he was actually going to get that job. The, the powers that be said, well, wait, let's. Not quite yet. We don't think you're ready. Work under Malali here for a little bit, learn a little bit more. And he he was he was good to be patient and sort of take a back seat. He he waited his time. Now he's got this role. So I, I think this is not a CEO job that was just handed to him. He, he, you could argue that he earned it. And I think he's excited about about taking this company forward. Uh, in in not really a merger with with Fiat would would really just be taking it backward. Yeah, because you you have to imagine Marcioni's not going to take a backseat to most no, people I, if he decides. Probably bigger egos involved. Yeah. yeah, it would just cause a lot of trouble.